everyone and welcome back to the Team Empire YouTube channel. This is another prep series episode. I I know I look a little tired. It's just prep. I'm three weeks out or just under three weeks out. Closer to like two and a half weeks now. Um, so I thought I'd do another another episode. I wanted to do one more. So I did a prep, er prep series episode for 12 weeks out, nine weeks out and now sort of three weeks out um you, you might have already seen in the video i've done a check-in and that was yesterday that was sunday so I, this is going to be like a two-day vlog kind of thing so yesterday i did a little bit of a check-in was really flat because i hadn't eaten was just feeling a bit flat I hadn't really trained um the day before I had just done cardio i think so just felt like not not pumped up do you know what i mean so um i'm gonna do another little check-in video after my gym session which i'm about to go and do but i've got shoulders and back today so might have a little bit more of a pump on i love the upper body pump because that's what i need i need the upper body i need a little bit, bit more muscle development for this show but it's all right we learn this is the first show this is what i wanted i wanted to learn what i need for my physique to fit the bikini division even more like I know I've got the structure in the frame I'm pretty sure I've got that there I just need to develop into it which is what this sort is about it's a long game not a short game it's not about doing your first show and winning and then blowing everyone up sometimes that happens but sometimes it's about learning and growing in the sport so I'm excited for that that's going to be so much fun um I also wanted to touch on my coaching at the moment that I'm being coached because so I'm coached by Marjorie on Abelardo most of you will know that but our coaching is a little bit different so I wanted to touch on it because also I'm a coach now myself including for prep coaching I have a wellness client on the stage this year I'm just so excited about that um doing Y kiddos with me and then I've also got bikini um athletes for next year already kind of prepping building getting ready um so that's going to be fun um I'm not I'm not an expert by any means I know I'm early in the game but I love the sport I soak every freaking little bit of the sport up I learn about it every single day I'm always absorbing bodybuilding in one way or another and from different people people that I trust so that's kind of where I'm at but also I just wanted to share that with my coaching with Marjon he does like my he does the 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 numbers he gives me the outline basically so he gives me basically the calories and the macros that I need to be on but I'm not on if it fits your macros wanted to make that clear he gives me the numbers and then I sent him my what I wanted to eat my meals and he approved it basically I've refined my meal plan since then so I've taken out things that are more processed and just put more and more whole foods in there and really influenced my diet in that sense so things like I was eating like 10 grams of cheese. I took 10 grams of cheese out. Like I don't eat processed food and I haven't done for since 30 weeks out. So just really refined it. Um, at four weeks out, which was a week ago, Marjan changed up my plan, but he added fruit and I'm just not a fruit person. I can't eat fruit. So it blew my stomach up for a few days. So we've taken it back to basics. Also with training, training is my baby. I've been training for 16 years, longer, 17 years in the gym. Um, I know exactly what I'm doing in the gym. I've, I feel like I'm getting closer to expert in the gym, getting closer to that. I'm, if you think you're an expert, you're an arrogant wanker, but <laughs> because it's so, there's always more to learn, man. There's always more to learn. But with that area, I feel very competent, very competent. And I love bodybuilding style training. So always have, always will. Sorry, I just changed because the lighting keeps changing on me. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that. So he's my coach, but he's my friend as well. He trusts me. I trust him. We work in more of like a hybrid format where I get to control a lot of what I do. Um, he doesn't look over me with like hawk eyes. He doesn't know exactly what I'm eating or what I'm training or every minute of every day like you would normally have in a coaching experience. This is very different. This is very different and not how it would normally go for like a first timer that is, that is new to the sport and stuff. It's a little different for us. I just wanted to touch on that. It's not a big deal, but I just wanted to mention that other people's journeys might be a little bit different than mine. This is a really unique first timer experience, but I'm absolutely loving every second of it. So now I'm going to do my shoulders and back at the gym. Then I've got to go to the supermarket and then I'm going to do the rest of my meals for the day. So obviously yesterday I showed you my oats. That's I have the same thing every day. It doesn't fucking change since 20 weeks out, 30 weeks out. This, that's how I operate. I operate like that. I need plain, boring, repetitive that's how I drive. That's how it works um, for me. So my meals don't change. So oats that I had yesterday, same thing I've, I've just had before this morning. Um, and then when I get home, I have my eggs and then I have two of the same meals after that. So four meals a day. I'll show you through what I eat. If you find that interesting, um, I enjoy eating like this. I know that some people won't, but remember this is a bodybuilding prep. 
you got to dive right in. Otherwise, <laughs> it ain't going to happen. Sink or swim is what I always say. So, yeah, I'll take you through that with me. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you being here on the series. It's so close. So close to go. Two and a half weeks and four and a half weeks. And this whole season is over for New Zealand. How crazy. Except for most muscles. But Nationals is done. So, you know, technically it's kind of over. But still going a little bit more which is exciting i love that um so yeah we're going to go to the gym now guys and i will see you there As you saw earlier, I have my oats for my first meal, and this is my second meal after the gym. It's basically just three eggs. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Can you disagree? Um, it's three eggs, whole eggs. It's an English muffin, 60 grams of capsicums. I use a little bit of oil for the pan, and I also have my black coffee, which I love. Can't not have it. It's got to be there. Um, and then I have a little bit of HP sauce on the top of my eggs. I just love HP sauce. Um, just five, I think it's five grams. And that's me for my second meal. And right now I am watching Jess Pap. Obsessed with Jess Pap, she's amazing. Love her YouTube, I'll link it below just in case. But yeah, I'm gonna go eat. So I've just done like a few hours of work essentially um just trying to get through some emails and some messages like client replies things like that um which is fun i love to i love getting down and just like getting to my desk and just hitting it eating my eggs um and then just going to work for a bit and just like staring at my screen now i'm having my v i usually have one of these like little v's i'm not like a big monster girl i can't do it um and to be honest i notice because i don't drink these unless i'm like within obviously within it started within eight weeks out started incorporating these before cardio just honestly it gets me through a little bit better it really does like it makes a difference 
but they're so sweet and i notice a big difference with my like digestion i'm just like bloating from it so i understand why things like that are taken out in peak week because it can have an effect on your just your digestion how bloated you may look water retention stuff like that so that's going to be gone obviously for peak week for me but right now it's getting me through and i don't usually have them otherwise as well i just have like coffee so um so yeah off to do cardio i'm doing I do 45 minutes of, on the Stairmaster. Marjon gave me three days a week Stairmaster, three days a week treadmill and climb. But I've changed it up a little bit. I'm so naughty, whoopsies. But I'm doing 45 minutes on the stairs four times a week. And then I'm going to do incline treadmill twice a week. And that's what I've kind of been doing for the last couple of weeks. And the incline treadmill is, he's given me 45 minutes, but I'm doing an hour now. I just, I just know my body and how it reacts to cardio. It loves cardio. It prefers cardio to a deficit. It's weird. Like, my body just responds better, retains muscle better. Like, that's probably, like, the same thing for most people, but I definitely notice that for me. So I've just put it up just a tiny bit to the 60 minutes just because I notice a better effect from that. I'm not trying to speed it up or try to get there early. I just know my body and what's going to get us there on time, basically. So working together with Marjon, definitely not trying to override him, definitely not trying to count him out or anything like that love the guy he's like my brother you guys all know that or you might know that um so just trying to work together and just learning about this myself as well and he trusts me and i trust him like i said it's just like a it's a fun way to do it for your first time because you're just learning as we go we always are so off to do cardio now i'm doing the 60 minutes on the treadmill today um and then back to work literally back to work and then i've got two more meals which i'll show you and then we'll probably wrap it up i look so tired like i'm literally getting so like, look how lean i am I hate doing selfies because I just, I feel too, I, I wouldn't want, want to be this lean, like, longer than for the show. I'll be reversing back up and getting into a build, man. I love building. If you ask me, I love build or shred, all day build. All fucking day. I love energy. I love training hard, like, lifting heavy, hitting PBs. Like, I'm all about it. So, I'm dying to reverse. <laughs> I'm so hungry. But I just hate how, like, tired I like My eyes are all sunken in honestly look like i'm hung over or something but it's just literally how it is i'm getting like eight hours of sleep minimum a night as well which is good but i'm just i am exhausted so it is what it is off to do cardio and then i'll show you my last couple of meals and then we'll wrap it up for this chicken for this chicken honestly for this for this um episode and then i'll see you on show day for my next episode <laughs> like it's almost like 6 p.m. it's so rainy and gross here today but I'm here for it beautiful day in Auckland I'm not complaining because we've actually had some really nice days I've actually been able to like lie in the Sun for an hour or two and it was really hot so no complaints plus prep doesn't it doesn't matter what we the, we have when I'm on prep because I'm like I can't really do much else anyway I'm not gonna like just go to the beach so um, yeah it's okay we're living with it um after this i've just finished off cardio so i did 60 minutes on the treadmill it was really nice um i sometimes just like get deep in my youtube and i just get really like excited for comp like all i consume is bodybuilding youtube like everything like possible to do with that but i re-watched my tournament of champs video and i just like get so excited and really happy for adita who took out bikini overalls it's just like it was it's a good feeling video if you haven't watched it i'll put it in the link i'll put a link in the description uh, but I really liked it. It was such a great show. So yeah, after this, now I'm going to go home, um, heat up my meal because I've done meal prep. I'll show you my meals. My last two meals of the day are exactly the same. They're exactly the same. It's chicken, rice, and peas. Very exciting. Um, I don't really love those two the most, so I save them kind of both for the last at the end of the day and have my favorites in the morning. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it for this episode. I'm not really going to have much else to share you from today. You've seen my physique, where I'm at with my chicken. Um, so the next vlog for this prep series will be show day for Waikato and then I'll do another one for nationals 
so exciting i can't believe it's almost here like it's monday this saturday it'll be two weeks out it's crazy um but thank you so much for joining me on this episode if you liked this video don't forget to like it don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content and to support me in this youtube channel that we have going um and yeah i'll take you through the last meals of the day and then we'll wrap it up after that so thank you for joining me and i hope to see you in my show day vlog coming soon Thank you.